F-Boy Island is back? Cody Ko reacted to F-Boy Island Season 2. And now I'm going to react to Cody Ko's reaction to F-Boy Island Season 2. It's F-Boy Inception. Let's get into it. HBO drops a second season of their sizzling sexed up dating show. Why? Because it's good, Cody. That's why. I don't trust anyone who likes F-Boy Island this much, and I was on the show. <laughs> it's three girls and a bunch of dudes. Half of the dudes Way are Way too nice many guys. dudes. The F, of course, stands for family. I'm kidding. It stands for fuck, because that's all these guys are there to do. No, it doesn't stand for fuck. It stands for fine love. The girl's job is to filter out the F-Boys and end up with one of the nice guys in the end, so that <laughs> they can bring him home to their F family. This year it looks like they're in a new location, Cabo San Lucas. It's a nice little escape if you have an extra 15 million dollars. Why'd they make Nikki Glaser look like the most successful realtor in Cabo? <laughs> look at her picture! House is 15 million dollars and it only has one bathroom on the main floor. <laughs> That 60 people used. The whole cast, the whole crew, all the chefs, the medic. You know how many people were shitting on that main floor? The thing I love about this show is that it's really self-aware. The show is really self-aware, but none of the people on the show are self-aware. One can kind of keep it together and nobody makes an inappropriate gesture. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, does he have the longest tongue too? You know those fake Halloween tongues they sell in stores? That's Ken's tongue. That was the first day we filmed. He came out with with that. Kean led with the pussy tongue. <laughs> so let's meet the ladies of this season. Louise, Mia, and Tamara. <laughs> they can't even do simple sh** without like competing with each other. Like they were all, yeah, they were all clapping, yeah, and that one guy like looked around and was like, wait, I'm the alpha here. I, I can't be clapping. We'll do this. And the other guy was like, <laughs> I'm the alpha, so I'm gonna do this. I'm the alpha, so I'm gonna just do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it didn't show me. I was probably sitting there like... How are they gonna even begin to weed through 26 guys? How do you start? Well, you start with a catwalk, dumb ass. How else are you supposed to disarm an aggro protein man? Yeah! He needs to finish this season because we're not aggro protein men. We're soy boy crybaby. You know how many lips quivered on this show? I cried. Mercedes might have cried. Asante cried. Tom definitely cried. We could have filled up the pool with our tears. <laughs> I mean, these guys look cool, right? They'll probably come up with some cool slick moves that aren't super weird and cringe, right? Oh, that was cool. Well, I hope too many guys don't do the lasso slash fishing rod move. Oh. Hmm. You know how bad I wanted to do that move? That's my signature move at every wedding reception. It's a catwalk. It's a tough thing to look cool on. It could have gone way worse for me. I did the bend over and kiss their hands, but as I was kissing their hands, I realized that they were all just going to stare at my bald spot. Oh, Louise, hey, we're going to fall in love. Not anymore! Well, this year they bring back this dude. I wasn't sure if Peter's name was Peter Park for like the first two weeks. No way, he's two letters away from being Spider-Man. The thing that pisses me off- Mikey's ear right there looks like an ultrasound. There's a baby in there. Look, that's a fetus. <laughs> this guy's one of my favorites of the first episode. Mikey D. And he's a martial arts master. Everybody was low-key scared of Mikey D on the show. Dude, Mikey D would like wrestle people in the morning. I went down there and Mikey is wrestling three fucking guys. I smell cryptocurrency. I smell dangly earrings. I smell clock tattoos. I smell some F-boys. You know what the scent was, though? A peach mango vape cloud. That's what Brochella smells like. <laughs> that was good. Fuck, I, I wish I came up with that joke, goddammit. Thank God somebody thinks I'm funny. Comedian on here now? Fuck, that's awesome. Listen, I'm sure he's got the chat. Fuck. Hold on, what's he saying? I need to hear everything he's saying about me. Listen, I'm sure he's got the chat. What? Listen, I'm sure he's got the chat. What does that mean? Did he just turn British? Do we turn subtitles on? Listen, I'm sure he's got the chat. Got the chat. What in the bloody hell does that mean? <laughs> so, I have a random question. Do you like cats? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, looking back at it, it's not that bad of a question. Like, it's kind of information we all want to know. It was just his delivery. If he just would have said, do you like cats or dogs? He might be $50,000 richer. <laughs> I swear to God. Hell yes. Now that is a pickup line. Where do you even go from there? What, what's the what's the follow up? Do you like cats? Cause god damn, you're looking fly, feline as hell. Do you like cats? Cause there's a category five hurricane on the way. 
and I'm ready to get blown. <laughs> No, the joke is, hey, do you like cats? Because I'm a major pussy and I'm scared of everyone here. <laughs> Anyways, it kind of seems like they, they cast some like complete geeks in this season on purpose, which I am all for. I didn't get a VIP pass, but am I the kind of guy who's just going to sit back and do nothing? No. My man, Lucas, they did him so dirty with that description. What are you doing, editor, huh? You did him dirty! Dude, we got to make those descriptions and titles. He typed that in and they used it. Everything Lukash did was carefully calculated. I really like that though. I, I kind of hope that they keep just going further and further into detail on those little descriptions. Sam, weird birthmark on his ass bicycle shop owner. What's Cody Ko's? Cody Ko, YouTuber and has hair from Boy Meets World. <laughs> Does Cody Ko look exactly like Sean from Boy Meets World? Sean, best friends with Corey. Favorite teacher, Mr. Feeney. Yes, I'm finishing, what's up? So, Thunder Virgin had my first kiss last year. Dude, you can kind of see the throw up in Mia's mouth. So, Thunder Virgin had my first kiss last year. <laughs> So, what are you looking for? I'm looking for you. Oh my god. Literally. Can I be that smooth for one hour of my whole life? I would have stuttered hell out. I'm looking for poo. Fuck. Hey, do you like cats? That's how I would have done it. Play the game strategically. Make an impression. Make her fall in love. And run away with that cat. Of course, right away, he's like, you're perfect. You're beautiful. I want to fucking marry you. I want to have kids. I want to move out and, t and have five acres of land and just fucking raise 19,000 children with you. Just saying anything to secure the makeout, which there it is. Why, where do they find these dudes? Evil. Where do they find us? The Instagram explore page. And then you got the comedian guy who is funny and seems cool, but this is his suaveness right here. Talk to you later. Yeah. What? That was it? Ah! I'm sure you're wondering like, what do the other guys do when the ladies are off talking to one of the guys in private? Like, I'm sure you're thinking probably like, what, beer pong, having fun, right? You know what we were doing? Me and Danny threw an orange across the deck of the pool for maybe an hour. Not getting way too heated about something random on the very first day, right? No. Peter had his shot. At that moment when his hair was all fucked up and he was yelling and screaming and it was episode one, that's when I knew Danny was made for reality TV. Look at this dude. <laughs> He's a mess. They're mad because Peter came back, I guess, for the second season. They like sit him down and are like, all right, you gotta prove to us that you're a nice guy, bro, okay? Which is just awesome. I hate to say it, man, but you gotta prove to everyone that you're not. Why do I need to prove to you guys, though? The only guy that can still rock a bandana. Look at this. Brett Michaels, Deion Sanders, Peter Park. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here for you guys. I'm here for the girls. Because you gotta prove that you're my friend, dog. They gotta do a bromance version of this show where it's just a bunch of straight dudes. I would love this. Find new friendships, and they gotta like weed through the guys with too many boys. <laughs> How many boys do you have, man? Be honest with me, dog. How many? How big's your squad? How big's your crew, <laughs> man? You're an F boy. I fucking knew it. I'm the host of that, whatever that show is, because I fell in love with every single dude in that house. Lukash, you too. <laughs> They're like, they don't know what else to do but just fucking like argue with each other. But what I really hope doesn't happen is that somebody starts an argument and then also looks like they're freestyling at the same time. Why, when we had our conversation before, when no one was around, were you on my side? It happened. So the way this works is they each pick their bottom two guys and they eliminate one of them. My money is on the virgin guy. <laughs> I really, I really like all of you guys and I really hope to have a couple more days to see if we can find that connection, find that common ground. I'm like, maybe, maybe this episode isn't as juicy as the first episode of the last season. But then at the buzzer, one of the dudes does this. Honestly, I don't even care. I don't mind eliminating. This was crazy. Dude, we all kind of saw that coming because John the whole day didn't say a word. We were like, is there, is he okay? And then he did that and we are like, oh. You can't fire me, I quit! That's insanity, but it's awesome. I'm not gonna plead to a woman, that's not me. I can't do that. I'm lit on Instagram, have money. Hold on, you can't be lit on Instagram and have money. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Something's not adding up. Gosh. Dude, his whole demeanor changes right here. Look at his face. What? 
No way. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my roster in LA. It's pretty solid. I got models, I got other people on it. Jesus Christ, man. I what? That's it. Uh, I'm ending this video now because I'm gonna go watch the next nine episodes without sleeping or eating. Eyes and ears are gonna bleed the next day, or you're just gonna disintegrate in your bed. <laughs> Grab some of this merch if you like it. Codashofficial.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Exactly. Bye. I need to do my merch like this, dude. You got a video for your merch? Oh, by the way. Feeling Glonky hoodies, who's buying this hoodies, espresso hats, polite cat calling merch, and we get some new stuff on the way. Go to benedictmerch.com. This merch bitch is cool too, but mine was good, right? See you guys next time. Benedictmerch.com. Ha <laughs> ha.